So, Dr. Lori, I just brought you a few things from what my grandmother left us, and we've been holding on to it for many, many generations. Right. Like lots of people. Like yes. lots of people. They're like, oh, you know, I don't know if I should part with it, and what should I do, and this right. kind of thing. So, what do you want to do with it? Let's start there. Well, to me, it's like a keepsake. So, okay. a lot of us, I want to remember her. We were very close. Do you have to remember her with every single thing? No. Or not can you choose just five things, or just ten things? Yes. Right? Yes. I want everybody to think about that. It is hard when you lose people. Right. So, you want to think about about, can I choose 10 okay and then be happy with those 10 and the rest of it might have to go let's talk a little bit about shadow boxes and, and condition what will happen is these shadow boxes in an environment like of course Tampa you will find in fact that these shadow boxes will help this piece to deteriorate faster because now it's enclosed in an environment where this particular ceramic is intended really to be out in the open air Okay. It's not a terrible thing, but make sure it's in a, a dark part of the home, if you could, okay. right? if you want to keep them in shadow boxes, and make sure that there is some airflow. So I don't want them on an exterior wall where it might get hot. Mm -hmm. right? I don't want them near a radiator or an air conditioning vent. These particular pieces are hard paste porcelain. That's why they're protected in a shadow box, probably, because your grandmother knew that if you dropped them, they would crack into a million pieces. Hard paste porcelain. Fired at a very high temperature and glazed. The gold is all 22 karat gold banding. That means they go on and they actually paint in the gold leaf. Right? It's, so they're relatively valuable. They date to about 1880 to about 1895 and value on each one about $500.